Hi everyone, Anshita this side. Welcome back to the K6 series. In today's video, we are going to learn how to select a value from the dropdown. So this is sample website in which we can see there's a dropdown over here in which you can select a value from this dropdown. So we are going to perform the same action using K6. So in K6, if you have to select a value from the dropdown, you have to use a page method, which is select option. Now let's see how to use it. First of all, let's just copy the URL from here. Now let's go to editor. So this is a test template which I have already prepared. First, we are importing the browser from K6 browser. At the time of creating this video, latest version is 52. I'm using the latest version in this video. Make sure you're using the latest version of K6. Now we have the options. These are the configurations. So this is my scenario name and we have passed executor. And then we have passed the browser type Chromium. If you do not know about this, you can watch my previous video where I have already covered all these in detail. Now comes the function where we will write all the logic. First thing is you need to open the browser. So for that, we will be using await browser.new page and we will assign it to const page. So whatever actions you want to perform, we'll be performing on this page. Okay. So the next step is we need to navigate to a URL. For that, what we will do, we will use await page.go to and over here, just paste the URL. Now, our next action is to select the value from the dropdown. So in order to select the value, what you have to do, you have to first find a locator of the dropdown. So let's go to the website and find locator. So do a right click and inspect element. So here we can see it has ID with the value select demo. So we'll just copy it. And here we can create a constant variable. Let's name it as dropdown. And here we will assign page dot locator and just paste the ID value over here. Now, like I mentioned earlier, in order to select the value, we have to use select option. So you have to use select option on this drop down. So what we'll do await drop down dot select option. And inside this, you need to pass the value. So let's pass the value from here. Let's just copy the value name. So we'll just copy Wednesday. Let's go to terminal and let's run this test. So we will run this in the headless mode. For that, I'm using this command, which is k6 browser headless false and then k6 run file name, which is dropdown.js. Now let's see, it is selecting the value or not. Okay, so that was really quick. What we can do, we, we can add some timeout over here. So let me pass it page dot wait for timeout and let's pass it as 5000. Now we will rerun the test and let's see again. So over here, you can see it is showing Wednesday. That means it is working fine. Your script is actually working fine and it is able to select that value. So over here, this is a small list. What if you have a web page in which there is a country list and you have to iterate all the countries until you find a specific country. In that case, what you can do, you can first of all, fetch all the values of the dropdown. And then let's say if, if the option value matches for example, Monday, your code should stop over here. So we will see that scenario as well. Let's go to editor over here. So now we want to find all the matching values for that. What we will do, we will be using await page dot double dollar. So double dollar means basically it will find all the elements which are matching with that specific locator. Now inside it, you can pass your locator value. So what we will do. So over here, if I inspect again, this is ID value select demo. So let's just pass select demo over here. But there's a catch because we want to iterate all the options over here. What we will do, we will use greater than sign option. Fine. If you see over here, these are the option values. So what it will do, it will actually fetch all the option value. The next step is we will assign it to the variable. Let me just pass it as value. Now we have selected all the drop down values. Next step is we want to iterate all the values for that we'll be using the for loop. And now what we will do, let's pass some constant over here. Let me pass it as value. So value of values. So this line of code means it will iterate all the values which we have received. So the next step is we want to find the option value for that. I will be using const value name and over here, what we will do, I will use value dot text content. So we are trying to fetch the value of that option. So first of all, we have, we have stored all the options in this values constant, fine. 
now we are retreating one by one all the values and next step is we are actually fetching the text of that option value now we will write the condition if your value name is let's pass some different value for example let's pass friday this time so if your value name is friday then select that value for that i'll be using page dot select option so we need to pass the locator which is this one select demo again and over here we need to pass a value name okay and after this just write a break over here so what we are doing first of all we are storing all the option values we are iterating all the option values we are checking the text content of that option value if it is matching with the expected value then select that value and now what i will do let me just comment this one okay so i'll just quickly remove this extra double quotes over there now this is fine let me rerun the test case again from the terminal it will select friday and once it finds friday it will stop so let's see over here okay now we can see friday is selected instead of wednesday so this is how you can select a value from the drop down we saw two approaches first approach is where we are directly selecting a value by passing that value name or let's say if you have a big list you can fetch all the values and then compare it with your expected text and then select that value fine so these are different approaches to handle select drop down in case 6 and as of version 52 it only works for this value name it is not searching for label so make sure you are passing the value name over here not the label name so yeah that's it for the video so i hope you like the content please like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching